Hi guys, my name is Roger, and I'm building a mid-engine supercar in the basement of my home. Let's take a look at what I've been working on this week. Well, I wasn't sure if I would have a video this week or not, but um, I was off work all week on vacation. Been working on jobs around the house, trying to get done with a few things. And in the meantime, in between jobs, I've been working on this, uh, trying to learn how to program and run my CNC router. I don't know if I've showed you this before, but this is the homemade wooden CNC router that I made a couple of years ago. And I used it once to cut some files for a clock I made out of wood, but they were 2D cuts and I've never done any 3D cuts before. So I had to buy software. The, I bought the Fusion 360 and learned how to write the G code. And it took me three attempts to get a pattern that I was actually happy with, it worked. And uh, let's take a look at this pattern that I've made. You can see there's a couple of little issues on it. Uh, I had to lay up three pieces of wood so the, where the seams where the wood was glued together, there are some rough spots I had to take and fill in with epoxy. Uh, a couple places here were screw holes where I screwed the board to a base plate I had to fill in with epoxy. And then here I had a little uh, z-axis zero issue that uh, not quite sure what happened but um, I'm still learning so uh, the final pass I changed end mills for the final pass on the cleanup pass and had to re-zero the uh, z-axis and for some reason it didn't like where I zeroed it or there was an issue somewhere but uh, once I figured that out and uh, it, I was able to run this final cleanup pass and it made a pretty nice pattern once this epoxy dries that I've put in all these little spots, I'll run a cleanup pass back over it one more time. And this should be good. This is a quarter scale pattern of the hood. You can see the back and the sides. This is the front of the hood. It's actually inverted, it's upside down. These two dips in here for air intakes. And um, when this is cleaned up and finished, I'll sand it smooth and put some kind of a coating on top, probably a polyurethane or a high build primer or something, and sand it down to a mirror finish. And I'm going to make a carbon fiber quarter scale hood on this to try to figure out the process of actually uh, vacuum infusing a carbon fiber part. And I wanted to start off with a small scale part like this to save carbon fiber material before I do a full scale one. And uh, I may have to make two or three patterns or shots on this uh, mold before I have a good part. And I just didn't want to waste a lot of the expensive carbon fiber. So that's why I started with a quarter scale part. Plus learning the CNC process, uh, making a quarter scale part was cheaper and easier than making a full size one, uh, considering that I had two failures. This was my third attempt. But I think this one's going to be usable, and I'm excited to try to pull a shot off of it and see what happens. It took me about 8 or 10 hours to machine this part, and I videoed the whole process. And let me show you some of the process on the time-lapse video that I shot. I also received this picture from a fellow YouTuber who is making my uh, door hinges for me. This is a picture he sent me of the 3D printed file. He's going to use this part he 3D printed to make the sand casting mold and then sand cast the door hinge out of aluminum. 
I won't tell you who it is that's making the part just yet. That'll be in an upcoming video, but as soon as I receive the part, I'll show you the part, the door hinge that he made, and tell you who it is. Well, that's going to be it for this week's video. I know it was short, but I have made more progress than I thought I would this week, and I'll see you guys again next week.